U.S. officials said THEY and APOS re holding high level negotiations with Moscow that could result in returning two Russian compounds, including one on MARYLAND and APOS S Eastern Shore. The 45 acre compound in Centerville is one of two shut down in December by the Obama administration as payback for MOSCOW and APOS S alleged election meddling. According to reports, the Trump administration is ready to hand the retreats back to Russia. Residents on the eastern shore simply knew the people using the now closed compound as neighbors. And quite as far as I know, they are good neighbors. They HAVN and APOS T done anything that I and APOS V heard of. IDO and and APOS T know that the police are called there too often. So maybe they mind their manners and quote, said Patricia Gerhardt, a resident. And quote THEY and APOS V never bothered me, so it DOESN and APOS T matter to me. If THEY and APOS re there, or THEY and APOS re not there. When I and APOS v seen them in public, THEY and APOS v been nice, and IT and APOS s, not like THEY and APOS re causing any trouble and quote, said Lisa Davis, a resident. The Russians called the Eastern Shore property, and another property in Oyster Bay, Long Island, diplomatic retreats. In response to reports in the US and in Russia that the handover is imminent, The State Department told NBC News, and quote the US and Russia have reached no agreements and quote, and the next meeting between the two countries will be at the end of the month in St. Petersburg. Maryland US Senator Chris Van Hollen strongly condemned the move, saying in a statement, and quote the United States expelled Russian spies from these properties because of our USSIA and APOS S interference in our elections. It is outrageous that President Trump would reward Russia by allowing spies to return to these properties instead of sanctioning them for hacking our elections. This is yet another red flag about the Trump 8-D-M-I-N-I-S-T-R-A-T-I-O and and a pose s relationship with the Kremlin. And quote.